his life today in 2000. The man who gave reggae his name. This is the man whose photograph you see right now. Oh my God. Yes, Toots Hebert. My brother, my sister. Toots Hebert was the one who named reggae, reggae. Toots Hebert was born Frederick Nathaniel Toots Hebert. And he was called Toots or nicknamed Toots because he had an early tooth. The milk tooth was quite prominent and his mother decided to call him Toots. That was his nickname. In Jamaica, they love nicknames. Buju Bantan was called Buju. You know, many Jamaicans have nicknames given to them mostly by their mothers or fathers. My brother, my sister, he was simply named Toots. But his official name was Frederick Nathaniel Hibbert. He was born on the eighth day of December in 1942. He was born before Bob Marley, born before Peter Tosh, born before Bonnie Wheeler. In fact, one of the earliest voices of reggae. Today, my brother, my sister, I'm going to tell you the interesting story of Toots Hibbert. And this class is going to last only eight minutes and we will be done. Toots Hebert was born on the eighth day of December in 1942 in Maypen in the colony of Jamaica. In fact, he was from Kingston, Jamaica. My brother, my sister, he died today in 2020 at the age of 77 from complications he received from COVID-19. Oh my God, his story is about to blow your mind. Toots Hebert was born to a family of Seventh-day Adventist people. He went to church on Saturdays and he decided to join his mother every day of the week, my brother, my sister, to choir practice. He loved to hear the voices of the Adventists. In those days, the Adventists had a unique way of singing in Jamaica. And everybody admired the way they sang, even if they were not members of the SDA. He was taught to stay away from some kinds of food that were so culturally accepted by the Jamaican people. My brother, my sister, some types of fish and even some types of uh, four-legged animals. My brother, my sister. He was taught, my brother, my sister, never to eat the duck. He was taught, my brother, my sister, to stay away from all fishes that had no scale, like the mud fish. In fact, at an early age, he already knew about what to eat and what not to eat. Oh my God. He was even taught how to fast. Unfortunately, by the age of 11, he lost both his mother and father. So he became an orphan. He was a very, very, very beautiful child at bed. He didn't like combing his hair. So his mother would always have him cut his hair right to the bottom, what we call down cut in Ghana. As he was growing up, at the age of 11, he lost both mother and father. He was the last born of his father and mother. Therefore, he had to be sent all the way from his birthplace of Maypen, right there in Kingston, Jamaica, all the way to leave with his uncle. In fact, his big brother by name, John, but he referred to his big brother as uncle. He called him Uncle John because he was the last born of the family. And once he was the last born, he saw his elder brothers as his uncles. Uncle John lived in Trenchtown, a neighborhood in Kingston. After the death, death of their parents, the little Toots lived with his brother, John, in Trenchtown. 
In fact, that was where Bob Marley also grew up. Remember Bob Marley had a song called Trench Town? My brother, my sister, it was a small neighborhood right there in Kingston. His brother, at a very early, early age, sent him to the barbering shop where he would learn, in fact, the art of barbering people's heads. He became a barber apprentice at a very early age. It was at the apprentice shop that he met his future bandmates, Raleigh Gordon and Jerry Matthias. Oh my God. He was there when they came in to barber their heads. And then when they started talking, they realized that they both had the same music talent and interest as the barber himself. And I'm talking about Toots Ebert. That was when they founded the very first band Toots got himself involved in. And that was known as Toots and the Maytals. Even though he did not have dreadlocks, he hated combing his hair. So he had an Afro hair, as you would always see. He considered himself as a comb-sum rasta. Now, there are some rasters in Jamaica known as the comb-sum rasta. In other words, there are rasters who don't really cut their hair, but they comb their hair. Comb-sum rasta. He saw himself as rasta. He smoked a lot of ntampe. And he sang a lot playing his guitar. In the, the early 1960s, they founded the Toots and the Metals band. Now, Metals, according to our hero for today, Toots, simply means, and according to him, it's a Rasta term. And that term simply means, uh, go get it. Go get it. My brother, my sister, that was what he said. But some other people said he named it Metals because of his origin of May Pen. And of course, Metals are also flowers. My brother, my sister, he joined hands with the two brethren that he met at the barber's shop. And they started rehearsing together, trying to play music. My God have mercy. They were inspired by Jackie Jackson and Paul Douglas. They wrote Rastafarian lyrics. My brother, my sister, like the books of Moses. My God have mercy. One of the earliest songs they ever wrote. Yes, the six and seven books of Moses. Six and seven books of Moses. My brother, my sister, we can comfortably say this was the very first song the band wrote and performed. It was called Six and Seven Books of Moses. And they decided to write it along Rastafarian ways and models. in Jamaica. As they were rasters, they fought against Obia and fought against negative evil power. 
Hey, and this was recorded in 1963. Getting into 1964. Hey, with the release of this song, they became extremely popular as toots and the maters all over Kingston, Jamaica, and even beyond. Now, there was also the Jamaican Patriotic Song Competition. They call it the Festival Song or the Jamaica National Popular Song Competition. And this was in 1966. This was the same year Kwame Nkrumah was overthrown as president of this nation. Toots and the Maytals decided to be part of the competition and they won with this song. Listen. Hey, they were moving from height to height, getting bigger and better. The following year, 1967, hey, the competition was on again. Tools and the metals went into the competition again. Many were those who in Jamaica said, well, they are going to carry the day again. And other people said, no, they will not get it again. They entered the competition again and they won with this one called Sweet and Dandy. <laughs> They entered again. Hey! And they won it for the third time with this one called Pomp and Pride. Everybody just a come down, come down, come down. It's a pump and pride. Everybody just a come down, come down, come down. It's a pump and pride. Oh my God, have mercy. This song was big in Jamaica. 
This is the two of the metals. Hey, big. My God have mercy. One of the earliest bands. And, uh, oh, he got so much inspired by James Brown. Unfortunately, he was arrested smoking marijuana. And he was sent to prison for 18 months. Whilst he was in prison, the band decided to stay away from playing just to honor him. After 18 months, that's one year, six months, one and a half years, he came out of prison. And when he came out of prison, the reggae fever was all over the place, my brother, my sister. And whilst he was in prison for 18 months for smoking marijuana, today marijuana is legalized in Jamaica, and you can smoke as much as you want without going to jail. My brother, my sister. Whilst he was in prison, his prison number was 54, 46. And when you add that, you will get 100. 54, 46. When he came out of prison, he decided to release a song. 54, 46 was my number. Did you not miss the... Hey, what I say, sir, yeah. Oh my God, have mercy. Give it to me one time. Give it to me two time. 54, 46 was my number. All right. So two centimeters. Oh my God. None all over Jamaica. With energetic performances all over the place. Inspired by James Brown and Jackie Jackson and even more. My brother, my sister. This was the man who sat down with Bob Marley. And Bob Marley predicted that he would be the next biggest thing in Jamaica. My brother, my sister, he also helped Bob Marley write a couple of songs. They used to sit together and do their own things. My brother, my sister, right there in Trenchtown. He was seen as the superstar. This is Toots Hubert. Hey! And somewhere in 1968, he named the new genre that we play today known as reggae when he made a song entitled do the reggae this is the song that gave reggae its name yes sir yeah. one two Reggae is name and it's simply called Do the Reggae. This one with the reggae spelled R E double G A Y. Do the Reggae, 1968. Two years later, they signed on to Chris Blackwell's Island Records and they got the opportunity to travel for the first time to Britain. 
Oh my God. Mm -mm -mm. To be able to perform there, they have released a brand new album called Monkey Man. Listen. Monkey man, he's not nice. I wish I had time to tell you more about this son. Hey, big up the monkey man of a strong man. This is the monkey man by Toots and the Metals. Now listen to this interesting thing. Now the very first ever Jamaican movie is known as The Harder They Come. And The Harder They Come, my brother, my sister, features and stars Jimmy Cliff, a.k.a. James Chambers. And in this movie, our heroes for today, the Toots and the Metals, also performed Sweet and Dandy. And this is the soundtrack of the movie. One. Only black cross has squeaks this kind of music, you know. Ain't that thing where you want to know right from reggae music all the way down to Skia and Mentor? I me done that. Oh. All right, man. So this is one of the soundtracks. The other soundtrack is this one here from Toots and the Mentors. Watch it. And this one is a thing called Pressure Drop. And we are about to wind up.
Grammy with your beautiful album, my brother, my sister. Oh, Toots and the Metals won a Grammy. And that one, you must give credit. And it's good that Toots won a Grammy. Unfortunately, in 2013, whilst performing in America, a fan decided to throw a bottle at his head. It hit him so hard he fell and collapsed. And blood started running down his head. It was uh, at the River Rock Festival in R Richmond, Virginia. The U.S. concert and the tours were all cancelled because of this head injury. In fact, it made him never again to be able to stand strong to perform. It was said that the youth who threw the bottle was actually drunk. My brother, my sister, it gave him so many complications. As an old man, it sent him several times to the hospital. My brother, my sister, the youth was arrested by the police and he went through the American system of punishment adequately. But Toots always said, forgive him, for he knew not. I don't want to imprison my fans. He's my fan. He only got drunk and decided to behave the way he behaved. Toots was married to an 18-year-old Doreen. My God have mercy. And he made two beautiful songs. Oh, my God. To celebrate her when she was 18 years of age. My brother, my sister. Oh, what a teen. Mm, 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 mm. Toots, he better. This is one of the songs he made. My God, for his 18-year-old Doreen. When they had just fallen in love. And they were about to start making babies. Oh, gosh. His 18 year old wife, they lived together until the end. They had seven children in all. Oh, regular. He made another song to say, Hey, I will make more songs for you, my Doreen. Watch it. <laughs> And the tells and today we're talking about Frederick Nathaniel Toots Hebert. My brother, my sister, when COVID-19 came, he was struck down with COVID. And he died today in 2000 from complications of COVID. Today we remember you, Papa. He was the one who gave us spiritual healing and not sexual healing. Not Marvin Gay sexual healing. Oh my God! This is Toots and the Matals. He died today in 2000. Oh my God, have mercy! Oh Papa, Papa, when you me go, prayers were organized around the world. 
when the news broke out that he had COVID and that he was in a, a medical induced coma. Many were those who prayed. Many were those who played his music. Many were those who ran to the Kingston Hospital with flowers and even candles. The Naya Bingy drummers were there to beat up the Bingy drum, praying for him to be able to wake up and do his things again. But in the early hours of today, the 11th day of September, 2000. Oh, Papa. <laughs> Papa, what do you go? Papa, I'm going to go to the Oh, Papa. What do you go? Yeah, Papa. <laughs> yeah, Papa, I'm going to go to Papa, I'm going to go Papa, I'm going to go to Papa. Papa. Oh, Papa. He never woke up from the bed again. It looked like he was sleeping, but he was gone. Do, do, wavi. Do, do, wavi. Papa, mula, ho, meo. Mama, mula, ho, meo. How na, i, ma, vi, nye. Banum, banum, po. In the bedding of knowledge, I ask you, now that you know what you do, be an any or lay a mini of our fair Zuda Kagane Mezaka Yini, Yea Papango Bokaya, Nunfifia, Yanu Kaina Wo, Bana Yahu, a bear then, Lele and Jima Singa Bekone, Lele and Jima Singa Berry. It's been the African history class, and today we've been talking about Toots Hibet. The Emperor, the Conqueror, the Champion, the Lion is here. Zabu, Zabu, Zabu. 